Welcome back. We have Lisa Nava, Director of Pride by the Beach and Butterfly Love Hugs, Pride by the Beach co-chair and transformational life coach, whose vision is a community where everyone lives in equality, feeling accepted, valued, safe, and free from social stigma. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy you guys are here. We can envision Thank that you, world, right? <laughs> it's a place Especially we want to be. in these times. Yeah. It's a place we want to be. Yeah, absolutely. So, Pride by the Beach. Butterfly, can you tell me a little bit about this really cool uh, event that, that happens here in Oceanside? Oh, I, I am so excited about our Pride by the Beach. It is an amazing, mm -hmm. uh, family-friendly um, environment where we just get together and love and celebrate uh, being uh, a part of the LGBTQ community. Yeah. And in these challenge, challenging times, it's so important that uh, everyone within our community, um, whether you're you know, yeah. black, brown, uh, trans, uh, family member, someone, uh, you know, a, a friend, yeah. it is so important in these times that everyone know that they are loved and accepted in our community. And that's what our Pride uh, event does. It really does just bring together a, a, a rainbow of people and we come mm -hmm. to celebrate uh, just being who we are yeah. and loving one another. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. And that is um, also the work of the North County LGBTQ Center. Uh, resource center. So tell us about the center that really focuses on that on that theme. Right? Yeah. Well, the center's been here for 10 years. We're celebrating our 10 year anniversary this year. Congratulations. And um, Pride by the Beach is a program of the center. It's actually a little older than the center because the center started as a coalition in Oceanside. Okay. And um, became a nonprofit in 2008. Um, so we're 14 years old and they're 10 years old, so I say we're the older older sibling. Um, but the center really, especially through COVID, has increased its services, uh, mental health services, HIV, uh, and prep nav navigation. Uh, we have a program called Foodies and Goodies, and um, yeah. primarily it's seniors and unhoused um, LGBTQ youth who participate in that program. That's every Friday. Mm -hmm. And then um, our Unicorn Homes, which is one of my favorite right. programs because right. it was uh, a long time planning and um, it, it serves our uh, LGBTQ youth who may be in crisis with their family mm -hmm. and um, find themselves um, in their car or with no place to stay. Mm -hmm. And so we partner foster families with them and um, it, it brings the crisis down and they do wraparound services with the family so that we can get the kid and the family back together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so wow. it's a, a unique program to North County mm -hmm. um, and we work with Interface Services and other services as well. Great, mm -hmm. great. And, and you have uh, a movie screening that's coming up that you want people to know about and, and tune into. Tell us about that. Yeah, so San Diego Pride has to be virtual this year. Yeah. And in their creative wisdom, they are asking all their affiliates to um, host something in person so it can be smaller. So we decided to do a, a family-friendly uh, film screening uh, for a, a short film called Mermaid. It's mm -hmm. on the International Film Festival route right now, so you can't go and Google that, yeah. but you can watch the film screening and also meet the cast and the producers. We're, we're looking forward, forward to having a good question and answer session with yeah. that as well. And it's a short film, July 17th. Is July 17th, to have that um, it, will be, it will be here in Oceanside. And um, you can find out about all of our events on our website on www.pridebythebeach.org. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're looking for more uh, committee members, right? To start yeah. planning for next year. Correct. Let's get um, planning for 2022. Yeah. <laughs> we are excited about uh, 2022 yeah. and looking forward to, to being back in person. Uh, our in-person event in 2019, we had almost 9,000 people come. Yeah. And so amazing. we think that in 2022, people will, will be ready to come out. So we're looking for volunteers as well as uh, businesses or organizations that may want to represent. Mm -hmm. uh, we will have booths mm -hmm. available as well. Uh, but it, in order to pull off an event like that, we need lots of volunteers. Yeah. So yeah. they can go to our Pride by the Beach website okay. and sign up to volunteer. And uh, it's, it's never too early. We're gonna no. start planning now for, for next year. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. The center as well always has volunteer opportunities as well. So okay, yeah. lots of ways to get involved lots of ways. and support um, all ages in our community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah.